Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating this gold slash red ombre eye. And if you want to learn how to get this look, please keep watching. First off, we're going to prime the face by adding the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. And I'm just mainly using this as a moisturizer so our face is well prepped and hydrated. For this look, we'll be using the ABH Prism Palette and as you can tell by my facial expressions, I was so excited to get this. So we'll be taking that bone colored shade called Utility and we're just going to use it to set our lids and on a very dirty brush, I'm just washing that everywhere. And then I took my ABH Modern Renaissance Palette and dipped into Raw Sienna or Burnt Orange. And then I just placed that as my transition as well because I couldn't stick with the Prism Palette. It wasn't the look that I was going for but I just wanted to try out that shade anyways. Moving along, I took Realgar and I placed that in the same places as Burnt Orange because I wanted to really deepen out that um, transition and make it as orange or as seamless as possible as an orange color. Then taking Venetian Red, I wanted to make it a little bit more pinkish. So I placed that a little bit below the colors but still um, deepening it out enough that you can see a little hint of reddish pink. Adding a hint of more pink, I added um, Love Letter and um, as you can see it doesn't really make a big difference but um, in my eyes it kind of does it's kind of more pink and don't be afraid to use these kind of colors because it does intimidate me um, going straight into it and looking at it into the pan but it can make the very slightest difference in your makeup look okay just deepening out that crease a bit more and taking cypress umber I'm just going to put that in the outermost corners of my eyes just to give it more depth and dimension. I don't care how many times everyone has to say this, but you already know what you have to do with that color, okay? Now I'm just gonna clean this shit up because it looks so freaking messy. I know, I know, I blend so messy and these colors can get everywhere, but these are just some Kirkland makeup wipes. You can get them at Costco. Um, you're just gonna clean up that outer edge and make it more of like a cat eye but not really just winging it out a bit but not really you know you could just do whatever you want really just make a shape that's flattering for you now i'm doing a happy dance because i'm going to be taking that abh prism palette and that color that beautiful color i think that's the favorite my favorite color in the freaking palette because it's just so gold it kind of reminds me of the um trophy wife by rihanna rihanna you know so yeah i'm just placing that with a real techniques brush and in the inner like maybe like third of my lids and yeah it's so beautiful but it's kind of obvious that i'm trying to do a cut crease here without actually laying down the concealer but try to um do it whatever you guys want to do but i'm just trying to make it as clean as possible Next I went in with Eternal because I thought that was a really beautiful bronzy color and I didn't want to leave it just like that um, yellow gold on my eyelids. So I went in with that um, deeper brownish color a little bit. As you can see it kind of makes it fade a little bit more better into the darkness um, and yeah. And then after this I'm just going to line my eyes with the NYC liquid liner in matte black. Moving on to the face, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Opt Optical Illusion Complexion Primer and I don't know how to feel about this yet you guys. I think I've only used it like once and I haven't really um, seen the longevity of it and how well it holds up my makeup but it kind of reminds me of a pump version of the Tarte um, Clean Slate Primer so I don't know it's kind of good good vibes for me right now but I need to still wear it to test it out more then for foundation today I went in with the Amazonian clay foundation in medium tan sand deep or something like that medium tan deep and I don't know why I put the stripes I think it's just an Instagram thing but um, whatever amount of product you can need just use it and I'll just go in with my real techniques brush and buff everything out I think that's my favorite way I get so lazy using the beauty blender because I have to stand up to go wet it and sometimes by the time I need to use it it's so dried out and then I have to go back to the sink to wet it and nobody wants a caked 
face, okay? As for concealer, today I went in with the Maybelline Master Conceal in light medium and I just got a brush, took the back of it and dotted it underneath my eyes because I didn't want to apply it using my fingers and um, I think the Instagram videos looked cooler with me dotting my face so I just did that. All in all, you're just going to blend it away so don't even worry if you know you get it somewhere that you're not supposed to. It's just mostly for me, I just used it to highlight and not really conceal but mostly highlight. To set the under eyes, I'm using the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. Whew, what a fucking mouthful, right? But it kind of reminds me of the La Mercier um, Invisible Powder or like the one that's setting underneath your eyes. Not the um, translucent powder, um, just because it's so finely milled and it kind of like just dusts into nothing. Um, I didn't really know how I should apply this, so I just took a brush and just placed it everywhere that I... Um, concealed and highlighted and that's pretty much it I'm pretty sure this is a hundred percent gonna give you flashback but I wasn't gonna take pictures anyway so yeah I also went in to set my entire face with it because why not and I got it as a the 500 point thing from Sephora so freebies so I'm gonna apply these eyelashes on camera um, these are actually from eBay one of my good friends told me about them you guys know who she is her name is Laura because I always talk about her on my fucking channel but anyways um, yeah they're really cheap they're probably like less than a dollar each or like a dollar each if anything and then I like to glue it on with the dual glue the green one because it gets really tacky and nice and yeah She's laughing in my classes while I was scheming for the mask who do you think you are dreaming about Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm taking burnt orange and placing that all along my lower lash line as well as Venetian red on a more finer tip pencil brush. Then to even darken it out and an even smaller brush, I'm taking cypress umber and just running that along the same places. As for the waterline, I went in with Rimmel London Scandal Eyes in Nude, one of my favorites. Moving back to the face, I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. I swear this is not sponsored by Tarte. I just received that box for free from Sephora. And this is what I'm going to use to just bronze my face and contour at the same time, girl. And then I'm going to take this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Concept. It's just a very nude flush of pink. Um, very, very nude. I don't really like really bright blushes. But I'm just going to place that on and it's really, really nice actually and I like it. So I'm going to continue using it. I'm not really a big blush person but I like this one. And then so I wanted to highlight my face with this NYX Illuminator thing. It's one of like the peachy colors and I even swatched it. But I didn't swatch it in person only when I got it. And I was devastated because this is the very first highlighter that I really do not like one single bit i had to go in with another highlighter just because this one wasn't really giving it to me and that really upsets me because i've never really found a highlighter that i've never really liked and for this to be a nyx you know product i was very 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 sad but at the same time you win some and you lose some and yeah it's all about the process and what really works for you might not really work for other people and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it now. I'll just probably keep it or donate it. Or if anyone wants it, let me know. Let me know. Since this mascara was already in the Tarte set, I might as well have used it, right? So it just looks like that. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Sephora brand mascaras. I just really like drugstore ones just because they're cheaper to buy. And they work the same, if not way better. So it's used to your discretion, but I just thought I'd show this one today. When I don't know what lip to use, I always go with the nude. And Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin is one of my favorite nudes in the entire world. It just literally like blends in with my skin tone so well. I'm pretty sure it blends in with a lot of skin tones really well. Um, but it's just a really, really nice, nice nude that's like 
I don't know how he did it, but it's so fucking pretty. Anyways, this pretty much completes the look. Um, I'm just gonna set my face later on with Urban Decay All Nighter, and that's pretty much it for this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this look. If you guys want to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Um, also, if you have um, any other suggestions, don't forget to leave it in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios, amigos.